All right. Uh, hi again, fourth graders. So um, this method for subtracting mixed numbers actually doesn't require us to actually use any kind of like traditional subtraction, um, anything like we saw in the previous video. This one strictly uses a number line. And um, some people call it counting on or counting down, or you can even say counting backwards. But uh, basically what you do is you look at your um, denominator and you know that your denominator is a four for both fractions. So you know that when you set up your number line, what you do is you set up a, a enough as far as whole numbers go so that you can make sure you have enough room for your largest mixed number, which is three and a fourth. So I, I created my number line to go all the way to four, the whole number four. And in between, I have the whole numbers one, two, and three. And then in between those, I know that I had to separate the space between the whole numbers into four equal parts. So I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and then four fourths became one. And so on. So you can count all the uh, improper fractions all the way down the line. And you'll notice that at every whole number, um, it's also a division problem. Where 4 over 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 16 divided by 4 is 4. So now what you do is you take your, um, your mixed number, the larger mixed number, the one that you're subtracting from, and you put it or you plot it on your number line. And you notice this one is 3 and 1 fourth. So you find the number three, and then you count one more, there's three and one fourth right there. So now you know you're subtracting one and three fourths, so you have a couple of options. Usually what I like to do is I start with the whole number one. And I'm gonna subtract one whole, so that means I'm gonna subtract four out of four. So I count down one, two, three, and four. That's four out of four, that's one whole, or you can just, kind of count one. You know you're at three and one fourth, so you want to subtract one. So you got to go to right there. You go two and one fourth. So we just subtracted the one. And now the second part is you can subtract the three fourths. So you just have to go three more. Let's change the color here. So you start there at two and one fourth and subtract three more. Count down one, two, and three. And look where we ended up. We ended up at one, right? It's in between one and two. And it's six over four, or you can count it's one and one fourth or one and two fourths. It's right there, right in the middle, one and two fourths. And if you remember the last video, you remember that two is halfway to four, so that's the same thing as one and a half. And also, really quick before this tutorial is over, you notice that six over four as an improper fraction, um, if you remember the previous video, we saw that six over four became four out of four plus two out of four or one and two fourths or one and one half. So you have your improper fraction, you have your mixed number, and then you have your reduced or simplified mixed number. So three and one fourth take away um, one and three fourths came out to be um, one and two fourths. So I hope that makes sense. Um, you can use this method. You can use a number line any single time or every time. If you want to subtract mixed numbers, you just have to set up your number line ahead of time so that you can make sure to include um, enough space for the, the larger mixed number you're subtracting from. And then you want to make sure you, you look at your denominator to make sure you set up enough equal parts between your whole numbers. But once you do that, um, it's quite simple.